Hello, witchcraft cocktailers. It is your cocktail creatrix, Julia Helena. I just really wanted to do, um, I'll try to keep it brief, but I can talk a lot, so this probably won't be brief, but I wanted to do a little talk about Lunasa or um, Lamas, which I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of, but I wanted to talk about the themes around this holiday and also some key ingredients that you can work with either in your kitchen witchery or craft cocktail making. So Lamas is actually the first of three harvests, so it marks the, the beginning of the harvest season. It's also in the middle of summer, and so we can see kind of a waning of sunlight at this time, and officially in fall, we are going to have um, more night hours than daylight hour. So this is really a key time to take advantage of the waning sunlight for any partition, um, additional potential accomplishments you want to take in. Now, as a harvest season, um, this is really a time to kind of appreciate everything you have manifested already, but it's also the first of three harvests. So anything else that you want to manifest now is like a check-in point, you know, what still remains that I want to bring into my life and what changes do I need to make to bring those things into my life. So invoking that creativity and wisdom and knowledge and also some great cleansing and release work. Now anthropologically, because I do have a degree in anthropology, um, the first harvest is a key time where a lot of cultures um, would actually be very careful about how much they are taking from the harvest and give back because if they ended up harvesting too much of you know fruits or vegetables or ingredients it would actually make that there would be less available to harvest later in the season and potentially damage future harvest so there's a really critical balance of the harvest time of yes harvesting and celebrating accomplishments but also giving back and having a connection to gratitude now any harvest period is really a key time of reflection on life cycles because there's all this growth that is finally manifested and now everything is going to slightly start to decay and wane albeit we do have two more harvests so it's a really good time to just cleanse get rid of anything and also invoke some extra manifestation potential so work through through some challenges that you have going on, celebrate accomplishments, and also a good time, again, to release and transition and work on transformation. Now, some key alignments um, for this time for Lamas, um, and again, I'm probably butchering the pr pronunciation, I apologize, but grain is a really key element at this time. This is a grain harvest, but another thing that I really learned, I think it was from Sandra Kine's Plant Magic book that she talks about, and I might be wrong, but um, grain that I love is symbolism is that grain holds the energy of the past. It comes from the past, but it also holds the potential of the future. So it's a really good karmic transitioning time. Like I like to work particularly myself on karmic healing or generational patterns so that we can plant these healed seeds for the future rather than carrying past trauma and experiences with us. Now that comes more from my energy work background. Um, so because grain is such a key component, think whiskey, think beer. It's also the beginning of the apple harvest. So apple brandy is an ingredient I have that I'm going to make a cocktail for you guys with later today. Although I'm on the, the west coast, so it's still only like nine o'clock for me here, probably much later for those of you elsewhere. Another key thing, although this falls under the grain category, is corn. Um, I love the corn part because in the Americas, particularly corn is used, um, or actually maize, which is different than corn, but it's used in honoring ancestors. Um, and so I love corn for that. But also, um, I'm a big fan of bourbon. And bourbon is a type of whiskey, so it has that traditional grain element you think of. But bourbon specifically, at least in the US legally, has to be made from a 52% corn mash and like other whiskeys it is also aged in wooden barrels so you have the element of the grains and then specifically a lot of corn and additionally you have that infusion of trees and when you think of trees you think of grounding you think again of ancestral family connections so i love using bourbon around this time and also because i'm a bourbon fan to connect to that generational that gratitude that healing energy and also um for yeah 
yeah, karmic healing, transitions, and the harvest energy. Some other key elements is blackberries, which I've talked about before. Um, blackberries are particularly associated with the goddess Bridget. Um, for healing, but she also is like creativity. So again, you've got that creative wisdom element coming through amongst other things. Also presents protection and abundance because you think of blackberry as a berry that's growing on a plant that has all of these thorns and vines. So it kind of to me is like when we take care of ourselves, you can have that um, beautiful abundance and protection when you have good boundaries. So that's how you manifest by having good boundaries, you guys. So I love blackberry for that. And again, healing. You guys probably already know by now, but I love aloe. <laughs> Aloe is another association, healing, protection. Basil is in season right now. It's all over the place. If you have a garden, my basil is taking off. Basil is used for heart opening, love work, protection, prosperity, clarity, wisdom, so many things. It's a multi-purpose herb, so I love basil in this time, especially for that abundance. You know, if you want to, again, like, okay, I want to make some money in the next few harvests here, basil is great for that too. Another ingredient I like to use is chamomile. Um, particularly German chamomile is in season right now. Again, associated with money, communication. We think of calming with chamomile, psychic ability. Now, when we kind of break down the associations of various things, it's important to kind of look at the duality of it. So yes, I say chamomile is calming, but what happens when you're calm, right? You're able to access your intuition, your creativity more easily. So kind of look at those associations in multifaceted ways and get creative with how you use ingredients. Yes, chamomile tea is delicious. I actually created a syrup um, with orange peel and chamomile and it was just delicious. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make a syrup in a little bit here. Um, other key ingredient is apple. Apple season has just started. I have these fresh apples from my backyard. Apples represent a lot of things. They have a lot of historical uses across various cultures, but healing, fertility, longevity, divination, wisdom, all kinds of things. Um, additionally, parsley is a really great herb at this time. Parsley is associated with strength and protection. So if you want to kind of cap on more of those solar energies of Leo season right now to get you moving forward to manifest more and up your productivity for the coming harvests, the two harvests that we have left, parsley is a great choice. And you can put it in a cocktail. In my book, I put it in this, um, margarita with with ginger liqueur and it's just delicious and you can really feel the parsley just complements it perfectly so get creative and really essentially um because it is a harvest season most fruits and herbs are greatly aligned to this time but those are the key ones that i'm working with i think um, and those are kind of the overarching ideas that we can connect to now some crystal stones and minerals that i might suggest um, albeit this is not a crystal, but amber, and maybe this is because I am Polish. I love working with amber, um, but I love amber for this time because when you think of the fact that it's fossilized tree sap or fossilized resin, you have that ancestral connection again, and right, if you're drinking bourbon and that's infused or it's aged in wooden barrels, you've got that duality of the stone or mineral you're using with the whiskey element. So you've got that tree resonation between those two things. Additionally, amber is really good for protection, healing, creativity. I've got this piece from Poland because <laughs> I have family there. Um, so amber is a great all around use, you know, abundance too. Um, citrine is another go-to. Now there are um, heat treated citrines and natural citrines. Now I like to think of citrine as kind of joy, positivity, abundance, but primarily I associate it with like when you're making a lot of karmic changes in your life or changing patterns. Um, I like to think of citrine as a good crystal to use to keep your energy fresh and abundant and um, clear and positive because sometimes as you're releasing energy patterns it remains in your aura or the people around you are still in that same energy pattern or heck like your space is in that same energy pattern it can be really easy to get re-triggered and so I like using citrine to help keep your energy fresh and make sure as things come up or um, refresh in your life that may not be so positive citrine is good to keep it bright and then it's got that abundance and that so Solar association with Leo season is great to bring out another key 
um, crystal at this time is Peridot. Peridot is really good for abundance, heart opening, so this would probably be a good crystal to, to work with if you're going to do a basil based drink or a recipe. The Peridot is really good for bringing in abundance, opening the heart to joy and positivity. And um, Tiger's Eye, although this is Tiger's Iron I have right here, is another great crystal or stone, I should say, to use at this time because it's really good for confidence, discernment, good luck. And so I'm going to use um, Tiger's Eye at this time. I'd probably use it more so for giving me that confidence and energy to stand in my power and manifest what I still want to take advantage of in the next two harvest seasons. So it's really good to, again, kind of like maybe if you're going to do blackberry protection stuff using Tiger's Eye to keep your energy protected and still bring in that abundance and stand in your power. So those are going to be some key um, crystal or minerals that I'm going to be working with and those are the ingredients and um, I don't know if any of you have any questions let me check really fast give you a moment okay perfect so um, I'm gonna pause here and in a little bit I'm gonna show you guys how I, how easy it is to make syrups and then we'll see if later tonight or tomorrow I'll show you how to make two cocktails and one mocktail for this time okay have a great night you guys I'll see you in a bit